This is not your average takeout egg drop soup. It is way better. Using deluxe ingredients like shrimp and snow peas, you're gonna love this. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. A lot of people have been asking how to adapt my original egg drop soup with chicken to their dietary needs. So whether they don't like corn or they don't want the chicken in there, I've decided to come up with a different variation, so maybe this is something that you would enjoy. You can find my original egg drop soup with chicken in my cookbook, Chinese Home Style. And this one, you can just use the ingredients that are already there and adapt it to what you like. This soup might actually be easier than the one with chicken because you don't have to brown the chicken or anything. I'm gonna set my Turn my stove on to medium high. Immediately adding four cups of chicken broth. I'm using chicken broth. You can use a vegetable broth or seafood broth, whatever you like. Remember, you're eating this, not me. Using a, a thumb-sized piece of ginger, I'm just gonna smash it up. I'm gonna add that to the soup. And if you don't want to do it this way, you can always grate it and put it in if you don't mind the ginger bits. I just want it in there for flavor, so I'm leaving it whole. Two cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna run them through my garlic press. Adding that straight to the soup. Then we're gonna bring the soup to a boil and turn the heat down, cover it, and let it simmer for five minutes so that all the flavors can um, infuse the broth. In the meantime, we're going to cut up the rest of our ingredients. I'm using about a handful of snow peas. It's about three ounces. I don't know if I need to remove this part. Oh yeah take that part off. Otherwise the stringy part can get stuck in your teeth and doesn't make for a very pleasant mouthfeel. That's true. Some of them are not so like stringy, but some of them are, it's better to just get rid of it. So it's just a top end where there's a, I don't know what to call it, the stem I guess. You just pluck that off and pull to the the straighter side. So when I was a kid, I think this was all my grandmother was willing to let me do. <laughs> Peel snow peas? Yeah. That were grown in the garden. Yes, grown in her own garden, which is awesome. I'm just taking them all together and I'm just gonna chop them up, so into little strips. You can hear the soup almost simmering. You know guys, I'm using snow peas here, but you can use uh, sugar peas or frozen peas if you don't want or you don't have access to snow peas or anything green really. Even zucchini or spinach will work really, really well here. So use your imagination, use what you like. Okay, soup at a boil. I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer. I'm gonna put the lid on because I don't want the soup to evaporate. I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer for five minutes. I'm using a pound of medium firm tofu. Now, if you don't wanna to use tofu, you can just double the amount of shrimp. Not even double, you might need more than double if you want this to be a filling soup. Otherwise, it won't be as filling, which is fine if that's what you're looking for. But we want to make this more of a meal than just a side soup. I'm gonna cut it into about half an inch cubes. Oh, that wasn't very straight flow. Really? Is it though? You're just gonna eat them. And if you can't be bothered with cutting them so small, you can keep them bigger, who cares? I have 12 little shrimp here. They are 3140 sized and there's about six ounces. I'm gonna cut these into halves um, lengthwise. 
And this will give you little pretty curly cues when they cook. Wow. Right, Kaya? You can use bigger shrimp, just cut them down a little bit more, or you can keep the shrimp the same size. You can use smaller shrimp and don't cut them at all. It's totally up to you. And if you don't like shrimp, don't use them. You know what, like I said earlier, you're the one who's eating this, so if there are ingredients that I'm using that you don't like, then just don't use them, right? Right. Okay, I'm cutting up some green onion for my garnish. And that's two stalks of green onions. Using two eggs, just gonna lightly beat them. All right, so it's important to get all your ingredients ready to go because the cooking part of it is actually really quick. All right, now the soup has been simmering for about five minutes. We're gonna turn the heat back up to a medium. Okay, the first thing to go in is your tofu. Almost forgot the flavoring. You want two teaspoons of soy sauce. And two teaspoons of fish sauce. If you don't have fish sauce, you can always use soy sauce instead. So two teaspoons. and you can always adjust the taste. Add a little bit more if you need, but remember, you can't take away saltiness. While we're waiting, I'm gonna make a cornstarch slurry. So about a tablespoon of cornstarch. This is just to thicken up the soup. If you don't want to thicken up the soup, you don't have to, but I like my soup to be just a little bit thicker than, than a broth. Adding about a tablespoon of water. And remember it has to be cold or room temperature water, otherwise cornstarch will not dissolve. And if you don't have or you don't want to use cornstarch, you can use arrowroot or potato starch. That will work. Okay, the soup is simmering again, which means the tofu has been heated through. I'm putting in my snow peas. I'm gonna give that a minute. So once it starts simmering again, adding our shrimp. The shrimp will take about a minute to cook through. You can tell when the shrimp is cooked, when it turns pink and opaque. And while I see them, I'm gonna take out the ginger pieces. There's one over here. Okay, we're gonna add our cornstarch slurry now. And if you want it to be thicker, you can always add more cornstarch slurry. Okay, I'm turning the heat down to a low simmer. And I'm gonna gently stir in my egg so that it creates these little ribbons of cooked egg. You see it? Look at that. So pretty. Okay, turning the heat off now. Adding my green onion. About half a teaspoon of ground white pepper. And this is adding some heat to it. So if you don't want to add white pepper, you don't have to. Or if you like more, you can always add a bit more. But white pepper, I find, is more heaty than black pepper. And last but not least, about a teaspoon of sesame oil drizzled at the end. All right, are you all ready for? Oh yeah. The taste, if there was any day for soup, today's the day. This is a typical rain couver day, just gray, rain. And what do you need? 
good bowl of soup. Yeah, this is not your average takeout soup, guys. Oh, where's that, where's that shrimp? See how that curled up? Like a Q. Ha ha, so good. Nice aroma coming off the sesame oil. Oh, heat from the pepper, sneaky. Delicate flavor, but pack in the heat. Tofu, nice texture. If you like tofu, and I like tofu. Here comes the shrimp. Cooked perfectly, tender. All right, another spoon full. Pack in the veg in there too, this time. Snow peas. Yeah, for me, snow peas. Just the right level of tenderness. Not soft to the point of obliteration. It's gonna be a good meal. Could be a main, could be a side, but it's all good. Awesome, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. All right guys, this was another simple recipe. I hope that you guys get that, that my recipes are just super simple and if there are ingredients that you don't like or don't like to use, don't use them. Find a substitute. You can do whatever you like. I want you to enjoy your meal. For the original egg drop soup with chicken, check it out in my cookbook below.